row 1. Today we are going to learn A-level literature, one short story in brief that is about Evelyn Barney, James Joyce. Evelyn, uh, for, uh, for this world, it's about 19 years, uh, 19 years of old girl who was in a dilemma situation uh, uh, regarding the uh, condition of her psychology. So, uh, in Dubliners, uh, moral paralysis was prevalent in uh, that country. So, uh, the writer was James Joyce and uh, mainly Evelyn uh, is basically about the personal theme of Evelyn's conflict of desire and obligation. Because Evelyn's desire is to go with the uh, boyfriend Frank and live in Buenos Aires and obligation means the, making the family together. So, uh, Evelyn is the, uh, is the mother to the younger brothers. So, Evelyn has more responsibility towards the home. So, it's a kind of a psychological conflict between Evelyn's mindset. Uh, when it comes to the social thing, it's uh, basically about uh, the inability to take decisions of social life. Uh, the people from Dublin, they had that moral paralysis. So, they have some problems with regard to the lack of willpower. Maybe in uh, their mental stress, uh, stress and the conditions and of the clearing conditions of the uh, Dublin might have uh, caused for this emotional paralysis. In other words, kind of a lack of willpower in order to make proper decisions for human life. So, this is kind of a common theme in society also. People find it very difficult to uh, take right decisions uh, at the right moment. So, in other words, they don't have common sense and presence of mind start something like that. So, uh, kind of a technique when it comes to the stream of consciousness because now this uh, short story belongs to modern era. In modern era, consider about the psychology. So, uh, the, how the mindset goes here and there. So, it's like a stream of consciousness technique uh, appear in this short story. Another one is the flashback. The evening's mind goes back and goes forward. It's like not in a particular uh, line of narration. All the incidents go here and there. So, that is about flashback. And evening's mind also thinks about the future things also. So, that is about the flash forward technique. And also we find symbolism, broken harmony, that is about the stagnant city of the Dublin symbolizes. So it's also kind of a decaying situation, uh, depressive conditions you can visualize from the technique of symbolism. Another uh, thing is cinematic technique, because like a film, uh, one time it is with the boyfriend waiting for, for, for the bonus hours. And another time it comes for uh, music, uh, uh, fathers harassments like that goes uh, in his mind so that's something cinematic technique is used there and no dialogue since this is a psychological analysis of a young girl of 90 this is this, this does not consider about dialogues and also we need to consider about when it comes to short story there are generation gap there are adults with generations active and the younger generations active so you can see this generation gap and false religiosity sometimes we see some pictures uh, and uh, they are worshipping the picture. So that's about the false religiosity in this uh, short story. And moral paralysis, as I said earlier also, the people do not have uh, necessary power to make decisions. So they are morally paralysis. In other words, they have emotionally paralysis also in this situation. And the other thing is the industrialization. With the encroachment of the new technology, so uh, agricultural settings has changed into industrial cities. A man from the Belfast bought the field and built houses in it. Not like the little houses, but bright big houses with shining roof. So shining roof, outshining the people, like that. That is the quality in the modern society. People are something hypocritical. People have become showing off. So that qualities uh, we can uh, look from this short story. And the drawbacks of city life, alcoholism, because the Evelyn's father is uh, drunkard. So Evelyn double victimizes from the uh, work environment and the, from the uh, father's harassments. Evelyn had to undergo so many harassments. So that is about the drawback of the city life. So And Evelyn had to sacrifice uh, more things for the life. So Evelyn is the heroine in this short story when you read closely. So we are going to learn some more things with regard to this short story in the next coming videos. So thank you very much for being with me in the English Academy. Subscribe.
subscribe and go on.